This is going to be a part two to prayers that can be found in John Ramirez's book. Here's Armed and Dangerous. It's the ultimate battle plan for targeting and defeating the enemy. There's actually quite a few portions where you will find prayers. Um, and then obviously there's some dialogue. It's not just a prayer book only. I'm going to be covering all of the various passages that do have uh, interactive prayers, <clears throat> and I'll tell you where to find them in the book if you're just interested in the prayers. Um, first section of prayers you find is on page 56. I'll just read through these prayer points here. Number one, our Lord is a consuming fire. Let the enemies of the church be consumed. Two, Lord, look at the attacks and release the fire of your spirit upon them. We ask you to destroy the spirit of pride in the church. Three, I speak by the authority and power of the Holy Spirit. Let every witch that infiltrated your church from the north, south, east, and west be removed in Jesus' name. Four, I frustrate the plans, devices, schemes and wiles of the devil as well as the plans devices and schemes of any witches or warlocks that have been assigned to afflict the church i uproot them in the name of jesus five any witches or warlocks that have infiltrated the church be exposed in the name of jesus now six any person from the dark side that has been assigned by astral projecting into our church, let the silver cord be cut off in the name of Jesus. Number seven, I smite with the blood of Jesus seven times any witches that are infiltrating our services and releasing incantations upon the congregations and leaders be removed now in the name of Jesus. Eight, any animal sacrifices of any witches against the church of Jesus Christ or any demonic altars that have been set up, I destroy them all with the blood of Jesus and the finished work of the cross. I destroy any articles the witches have stolen that represent the church and its mission statement and I smite them with the blood of Jesus to burn to ashes. Number nine, any and all witchcraft planting or burials against the church, the church of Jesus Christ, I destroy in the name of Jesus. 10. I go into the devil's camp and take back every blessing that he stole from the church through witchcraft. I take it all back in the name of Jesus. Number 11. I call upon the Lord to release warring angels from Michael's quarters to dismantle and uproot any witchcraft network in my region. May they be destroyed from the north, south, east, and west. I believe this previously mentioned verse in Revelation provides a picture of this type of warfare. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought, but they did not prevail, nor was found any place for them in heaven any longer. Number 12, I release the 10 plagues of Jesus to fall upon every witch, wizard, sorcerer, and warlock that is infiltrating the church of Jesus Christ. Number 13, for every witch that is chanting, casting spells, or astral projecting against the church of Jesus Christ, I bind every dark work and turn it against your own head until you repent in the name of Jesus. 14. I break and uproot every scheme, pattern, and cycle of witchcraft designed to stop the growth of the church. I destroy them all by the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. 15. I release arrows dipped in the blood of Jesus into the enemy's camp to destroy every satanic target that opposes the church of Jesus. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. 
16, I send confusion into the enemy's camp. I confuse their languages and let them attack one another, any and all who are trying to bring down the church of Jesus Christ. 17, in the name of Jesus Christ, I loose the hands and feet of every believer in the church to walk out and evangelize. 18, I forbid any witchcraft meetings from taking place here or in any other region where the church is planted. May the fire of the Holy Spirit fall upon their heads in the name of Jesus. 19, I destroy and curse at the root every witchcraft spell against the church of Jesus Christ. Let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. 20, I destroy every witchcraft covering and covenant from the first and second heaven and dismantle the operation piece by piece, never to rise up again against the church of Jesus Christ. 21, I release the bondages of heaven to chase down every witch, warlock, wizard, or sorcerer that is standing against the church of Jesus Christ. I declare this in Jesus' name. 22, may the thunderbolts of Jehovah Nissi strike the head of every snake that has risen up against my church and the church. I cut off their heads in Jesus' name. 23, let the path of every devil and every witch assigned against the church be slippery. Let them spiral out of control to destroy themselves in Jesus' name. Page 59, aggressive prayers. I cancel in the name of Jesus the spirit of premature death that is trying to cut my day short. I destroy his plan and assignment against my life. And I release the Holy Spirit to destroy every blueprint of sickness from the spirit of death in Jesus' name. Number two, I come against every spirit of death, cancer, diabetes, heart attack, high blood pressure, suicide, and stroke. I smite you seven times with the blood of Jesus Christ. I abort your plan against my life now in Jesus' name. Number three, I declare, I shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord today and forevermore in the name of Jesus. Number four, Father, in the name of your Holy Son, Jesus Christ, empower me by the anointing of the Holy Spirit to destroy every demon that has been assigned to monitor my life. Five, I bring destruction now against the devil's camp and the forces of darkness in the name of Jesus. Number six, with the sword of the Lord, I will chop off the head of every evil spirit. The same way David took off the head of Goliath in Jesus' name, I pluck out the eyes of every evil spirit that is operating through witches, wizards, sorcerers, and warlocks that have been assigned to spy on my life. I destroy them all in Jesus' name. Seven, I ask God to release blindness into the enemy's camp cut off every circuit that is trying to infiltrate my purpose and destiny. I bring them down and destroy them completely through the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Eight, I pray against every satanic hindrance and destroy the strategies that have been planned against me in the name of Jesus Christ. Nine, I hinder and frustrate every assignment of the devil and his demons and whatever methods they are trying to use against me, I burn them down with the fire of the Holy Spirit. 10. I shoot lightning into the devil's camp and upon every demon's head to confuse and destroy their game plan against my life in Jesus' name. 11. I bind and rebuke all demonic reinforcements sent by the evil one to attack, hinder, or frustrate the plan of God over my life. I dismantle them now in Jesus' name. Number 12, I confess the sins of my ancestors in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask forgiveness for the sins of my father's bloodline and the same thing for my mother's bloodline in the name of Jesus. 13, I renounce and loose myself from every demonic dedication placed upon my life in Jesus' name. 
I take authority over all curses that have been spoken over my life in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you for my victory and your promises through these prayers. I stand on the offensive by the power of the Holy Spirit that lives in me and the anointing that you have placed upon my life. Today, I am a champion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Verse uh, or page 88. Find some more uh, prayers here. It says, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are the son of God and the only way to God and that you died on the cross for my sins and rose again from the dead. I give up all my rebellion and all my sins before you. I ask for your forgiveness, especially for any sins that expose me to any curse. Release me also from the consequences of my ancestors' sin. As a decision of my will, I forgive all who have ever hurt me, harmed me, or betrayed me. Just all, just as I want God to forgive me, I forgive them. I renounce all contracts, known and unknown, or any occult or satanic agreements. If I have had any contact with occult objects, I commit myself to destroy them. I cancel all of Satan's plans against me. Lord Jesus, I believe that on the cross, you took on yourself every curse that could ever come upon me. So I ask you now to set me free from every curse over my life. In your name, Jesus Christ, by faith, I now receive my freedom and I thank you for it in Jesus' name. It says in Ephesians 2, 6, that God has raised us up with Christ. He has seated us with him in the heavenly realms, in Christ Jesus. That means, Satan, that you are under my feet, along with the wiles and the schemes and every fiery dart that you brought upon my life. I destroy you now by the blood of Jesus Christ. I ask God to release angels from Michael's quarters to go on the attack now. I dip arrows in the blood of Jesus Christ and shoot them into the enemy's camp and destroy every target that has my name on it. I break down every demonic altar that has been set up against my family, my loved ones, my ministry, and myself. I paralyze every demon that has been assigned to me in the season I'm in now. I uproot every incantation and spiritual roadblock that the enemy has set against me. I pulverize every attack against me and I curse it to the root, never to return in the name of Jesus Christ. I void every legal right that the enemy has against my family. I go back 10 generations on my father's and mother's side be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. I take back my mind from all tormenting and scorning spirits that have implanted themselves in my mind and in my thoughts. I destroy and uproot them with the blood of Jesus Christ and the finished work of the cross. I call back from the north, the south, the east, the west, every fragmented piece of my mind. I call them back in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to my mind to be whole, to be healed and delivered out of the enemy's hands in the name of Jesus. Moving on, the warrior stance passage. If you've got the book, page 123, this is where it begins. Father, I pick up the weapons of my warfare. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I stand in the devil's face in this battle. I pray to the Lord to release warring angels to come down and fight on my behalf in Jesus' name. I break every demonic altar that has been set up against my family and me in the spirit realm by fire. I destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy all powers of the dark side that are working against me and my family and my ministry. I rebuke 
and bind every astral projecting person who is trying to infiltrate my home in the name of Jesus. I cut off every assignment of the devil and his demons that is trying to destroy my marriage in the name of Jesus. I send Holy Ghost fire upon every devil in the enemy's camp and destroy every evil spirit of infirmity that is attacking my body in the name of Jesus. I break down and dismantle every satanic altar that has my picture or my clothing or my hair. I smash them down now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, I take back in the name of Jesus everything that the canker worm and the locust have eaten from my life and my loved one's lives. In Jesus' name, I pour fire upon every devil's head, every unclean spirit, and every witch that has risen up against my family, my spouse, my children, my finances, my church, and me. I smite them with the blood of Jesus seven times and destroy them, never to rise again in Jesus' name. I seal my family, my ministry, my church in the blood of Jesus Christ and declare a wall of fire around them from Zechariah 2, the same wall of fire that God put on Job. I put on my family, my spouse, myself, my ministry, my church, and my calling. Amen. Um, moving on to the next section. Uh, if you've got the book, you can find this. Uh, page 139, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray in faith and I put on your whole armor that I may stand against the wiles and the schemes of the devil. I put on your helmet of salvation. I put on the breastplate of righteousness, the righteousness of Christ Jesus. I put on the girdle of truth because I know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I put on the holiness of God. I put on the sandals of the gospel of peace so I can stand on the solid rock of my salvation, who is Jesus Christ, my Lord. Above all, I put on the shield of faith to quench every fiery arrow, spear, and missile that the devil shoots my way. Lord, I pick up the precious sword of the Spirit to slice and dice with the power of the Holy Spirit to stand all the days of my life on offense and on defense in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to keep the same hedge of protection around my family, my mind, my heart, my emotions, my ministry, and my relationship with you. The same hedge you put on Job. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to keep an encampment of your powerful angels to surround my loved ones, my ministry, my family, and me every day. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to send a host of ministering angels to attend to our, our hurts, our needs, our pain, and our infirmities, to strengthen us in every season of our lives. Father, I praise you and thank you that your glory is my rear guard. In the name of Jesus, I ask you to surround my loved ones, my ministry, and me with a supernatural wall of fire. Protect me from any assault of the evil one. Father, in the name of Jesus, I claim your promise to be my shield and protector always. In the unmatchable name of Jesus Christ, I command my thoughts and my thinking to be under the obedience of Christ Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit fire prayers. In the name of Jesus, the name that is above every name, I attack the devil and the demons that have been assigned to attack me in every way. I bind up every unclean spirit that is working against me in Jesus' name. I break and destroy going back ten generations on my father's side and my mother's side. Any iniquities known and unknown in my family's bloodline, let them be destroyed now in Jesus' name. I bind up principalities and powers rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness, and hosts in heavenly places, and the prince of the power of the air over my region, to release and loose my family, every church in my area, and myself now, in Jesus' name. 
I bind up the strong man and the old man and every stronghold of every demonic spirit that is trying to plague and confuse my loved ones and me. I destroy them in Jesus' name. I bind up the spirits of infirmity, sickness, disease, pain addiction, affliction, calamity, and premature death that are trying to operate against my family, my loved ones, and me. I cut them at the root, never to return in Jesus' name. I come against, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of poverty that is trying to steal my promises and blessings. I dismantle them in the name of Jesus. I bind up the spirits of strife and division, backbiting, gossip, criticism, and judgment. I smite them with the blood of Jesus seven times and break myself free from them in Jesus' name. I destroy in the name of Jesus the spirits of resistance, hindrance, revenge, retaliation, retribution that are trying to come against my family, my ministry, and me, letting them attack one another and be destroyed in Jesus' name. I come against, in the name of Jesus, any lying, seducing, or deceiving spirit that is trying to attack me. I send the judgments of God upon their heads in Jesus' name. I bind up every spirit of fear, doubt, unbelief, discouragement, despair, or depression that is trying to come against me. I ask God to send angels from Michael's quarters to destroy them now in Jesus' name. I bind up spirits of pride, rebellion, disobedience, ego, independence, lack of forgiveness, bitterness, and lust. Let them be destroyed now in Jesus' name. I bind up every spirit of envy, covetousness, jealousy, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the world, the pride of life, the spirit of mammon, the spirits of pity and hopelessness, and every wicked, unclean spirit that accompanies these spirits. I destroy them now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I bind up every root of fear, anxiety, worry, stress, tension, frustration, disappointment, and discouragement. I bind up all these devils that are working against me in the name of Jesus. I bind up every attack that is operating in my immune system, every affliction, every disease, every accident spirit, and every demonic spirit that is trying to abort my purpose and destiny. I bind up in the name of Jesus Christ every tongue that rises against me, and I condemn it in judgment. I bind up every snare or trap of the evil one that is trying to operate against me in Jesus' name. May the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you all. I loose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Freedom, liberation, peace, joy, hope, gladness, love, healing, wholeness, nothing missing and nothing broken, mercy, grace, blessings, and favor, restoration of all the years, the locust and the canker worms have eaten in your life. I loose an, an open heaven over your life in the name of Jesus. I loose in Jesus' name love, meekness, obedience, and kindness upon you now. I loose upon you compassion, consideration for others, submissiveness, divine healing. I loose the desires of your heart according to the purpose of Jesus Christ over your life. I loose the blessings and the promises of the Lord upon your life, family, ministry, and home. I speak and loose breakthrough. In every area of your life, a double portion of God's blessing be upon you, your children, your home, your marriage, your ministry, now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I loose promotion, 
breakthrough, restoration, restitution over your life. I loose a hedge of protection over your mind, over your heart, and over your emotions in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to you, Lord. We bless your name. These are some renunciations found on page 146. I renounce all agreements that I have made with Satan and his demons in the name of Jesus. I renounce and reject any satanic offerings that I have ever made in the name of Jesus. I renounce lust, perversion, immorality, and every unclean spirit that I have made any pact with in Jesus' name. I renounce and rebuke all witchcraft, occult practices, divination, and sorcery that I have ever made in Jesus' name. I break any ungodly soul tie in any relationship in my life in Jesus' name. I renounce and uproot out of my heart hatred, anger, resentment, lack of forgiveness, bitterness, and envy. Release me now in Jesus' name. I renounce and uproot from my life every addiction, every demonic pharmacia spirit that has me bound. I destroy these attacks in the name of Jesus. I renounce from my life today jealousy, pride, covetousness, self-righteousness, and egotism come out of me now in the name of Jesus. I renounce fear, doubt, unbelief, and every tormenting spirit come out of me now in the name of Jesus. I renounce any ungodly generational covenants that my family members on my father's side, my mother's side, and my ancestors going back 10 generations that they have made. Let them be broken in Jesus' name. I renounce any allegiance to the kingdom of darkness and Satan in the name of Jesus. I renounce and uproot every demonic word that I have spoken and given the devil legal rights to over my life. Be broken in Jesus' name. I renounce any spirit husband or spirit wife or any demonic spiritual divorce papers that have come into my life in my dreams. Destroy them all in Jesus' name. I curse at the root every false word of prophecy spoken over my life, my family, my marriage, my children, and my ministry in Jesus' name. I uproot out of my life all sickness, depression, oppression, trying to operate in my life. Be destroyed in Jesus' name. I destroy all demonic activity and every demonic thought that is, has been opened in my life. I shut them down in the name of Jesus. I break off of me in Jesus' name any residue of any demonic kind. I break off any backlash, any retaliation, any transfer of spirits that is trying to come against me, my family, my loved ones, and my finances in the name of Jesus Christ. I guess this is a prayer. This is a prayer for spiritual eyes. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, as the disciples prayed and asked for their faith to be increased, I know, O oh God, you are no respecter of persons. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will increase my faith and my discernment and open my spiritual eyes to see in the spirit realm what you want me to see. Lord, in Jesus' name, open my spiritual eyes to see what my natural eyes cannot. In the name of Jesus, remove every spiritual distraction and the scales that have blinded me from seeing in the spirit. O oh, Jesus, reveal to me everything that is hidden in the spirit realm. Lord Jesus, open my spiritual eyes to see all the great things that you have for me. I speak into my ministry, spiritual vision and revelation in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, let me see into the spirit realm with understanding. 
Lord, bless my eyes to see every entrapment of the devil that he is trying to use to come against me in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, help me discern the things that I do not understand and cannot see in Jesus' name. Lord, show me how to be a blessing to the body of Christ as you open up my spiritual eyes to the understanding of your word in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, reveal to me the mysteries of the kingdom. Holy Spirit, acquit me with spiritual wisdom in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, I pray for spiritual knowledge in Jesus' name. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, use my gifts to be a blessing to others in my walk with you. Lord Jesus, never let the light in my eyes go out in Jesus' name. Jesus, I thank you for the anointing over my life. I pray in the name of Jesus that I touch and agree with the Holy Spirit in every area of my life. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you use me as you used Jesus Christ on the earth to heal, to set free the oppressed, and to bring people to salvation. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will fall upon me now in the same way you fell upon the apostles. In Jesus' name, I break and sever every demonic and every unclean spirit that is trying to contaminate my anointing. In Jesus' name, let the resurrection power of Jesus Christ rise up in me now. In Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, I pray that you make me a vessel of honor. Father, use me to deliver those who cannot deliver themselves in the name of Jesus. Father God, use me as an arrow in your quiver to destroy the works of darkness in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I wash myself in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let every demonic power tremble in my presence in Jesus name Holy Spirit help me to stretch out my hand and to touch and heal the sick in Jesus name more prayer points page 153 I stand against the spirit of fear that is trying to operate in my life in the name of Jesus I reject every evil report infirmity divorce loss of job, or loss of family member that is trying to bring fear into my life, I destroy it in Jesus' name. Right now, I bind and destroy any demonic powers that are trying to take over my mind, my thinking, and my heart. I dismantle them now in Jesus' name. I refuse to accept and operate in fear in my life. I uproot it in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree no weapon formed against me will prosper in Jesus' name. Let the Holy Spirit fall upon the enemy's camp that is trying to put fear into my life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I loose my family and myself of a spirit of fear that is trying to paralyze me. I come against any bad news, bad report, or demonic words that will bring fear into my life. I destroy every single one of them in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of the fear of man, of people, and of my boss. I uproot that spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare over my life, you are my shield and my protector in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, no matter what comes my way, I make a decision to trust you in every area of my life. I declare and decree that if God is for me, who can be against me? I cover my family, my marriage, my ministry, and myself in the blood of Jesus. I decree and declare and cover my mind and my sleep in the name of my Savior, in Jesus' name. More prayer points 156. I ask the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus to give me insight into the evil plans of the witches, the sorcerers, and the warlocks that are against my family, my ministry, and my life. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. 
I rebuke and dismantle every plan or any insight that the devil and his demons have against me. Let them be destroyed now in Jesus' name. I send confusion into the enemy's camp right now in Jesus' name. I send arrows dipped in the blood of Jesus Christ right now into the enemy's camp in Jesus' name. I burn down the banners and scrolls of any evil plan that they have against me and my family and my ministry in Jesus' name. I call the fire of God to fall upon the enemy's camp and destroy every demonic altar that has my name on it in Jesus' name. I call upon the Holy Spirit right now to make me invisible in the spirit realm as well as my family, my ministry, and my loved ones so that the devil and his demons cannot find me amen father in the name of jesus i put my full trust in you throughout the night in the name of jesus i will rest and lay my head down tonight in the love of jesus christ i seal my family and myself throughout the night in the blood of jesus christ i cover my home and every room of my house in the blood of jesus christ I cover every bed that my family sleeps on, including my own, in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind every astral projecting person that is trying to infiltrate my home in Jesus' name. I cancel every demon that is trying to sneak into my dreams in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, let your angels encamp around my family and me tonight in Jesus' name. I declare a wall of fire around my home tonight in Jesus' name. I pray right now in Jesus' name for the Lord to send me warring angels to encamp inside and outside of my home in Jesus' name. Well, amen. That's really the bulk of all of the prayers. Uh, save this video. Like this video. Um, replay it as needed. Um, because these are some very powerful prayers that can bring self-deliverance. They can bring healing. They can bring, bring protection. When you pray these in faith and power through the Spirit of God, heaven will respond. Well, beloved, God bless. Thank you for watching. Go forth in the peace and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.